It's mostly science and fiction. Mostly. I was halfway through making a season 3 explanation video for Dark Matter when Joseph Malozzi, the creator of the show, officially saying that Dark Matter had been cancelled. Who is the cunt behind that decision? Very sad news for true sci-fi lovers. Joseph Malozzi, if I'm saying that name correctly, was an executive producer on Stargate, and with Paul Mully, wrote over 70 episodes across all three series, SG-1, SG-8, SGU. As I said, he's an executive producer. Like, this guy knows how to write a show, and he's a veteran. He's been in the game for a long time. And so the loss of his creation, Dark Matter, just as it was really starting to take off, it's just, it's a fucking joke. He's put so much effort into this show, it's, it's almost heartbreaking that it got cancelled. Starting from a humble comic with the intent to have it picked up by a network, you know, he really planned this stuff through. Years later, it finally does get picked up and we get a damn fresh sci-fi, a true space-based adventure that has been missing for, for fucking years. The worst part is that Joseph had said before that they have a clear start, middle and end planned for the show. A complete five seasons had been mapped out. He wasn't going to string this show along forever. They had a complete fucking story, which sadly we probably won't see now. It is possible for another network to pick up the series it's happened with other fan favorite shows before but as Joseph himself has said on reddit if they were cancelled the odds of another network picking up the show not very good and then a few days later they got cancelled so what the fuck happened man Killjoys and obviously The Expanse got renewed by Sci-Fi Network but Dark Matter one of the most watched shows on their network gets cancelled I mean it had a 12% viewer drop in season 3 but that's actually not that much considering it's still very high viewership according to the averages based on the final national numbers live plus same day viewing Dark matter ranks higher than half the shows that got renewed so what the fuck is going on everyone is quite shocked it seems it doesn't make sense and sci-fi cunts had refused to comment as to why they killed this show they probably needed the space for more pro wrestling the only explanation is that the sci-fi network is run by Dogs! Jake's Place exclusive, everybody. Sci-fi is run by dirty fucking dogs. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't hate dogs. I love dogs. So much so, in fact, that I regularly volunteer at the local shelter. And Golden Retrievers are one of the most intelligent breeds of dogs on the planet. But I'm still pretty confident in saying that a bunch of dogs would still be incompetent as fuck when it comes to running a TV network. So come on, Sci-Fi. What the fuck are you doing? I mean, what are they doing? Just spinning a fucking wheel with the show names on there? It's quite boggling to the layman like myself, but... But ratings are not the only thing to consider when renewing a show. As Dark Matter is owned by Joseph Malozzi and it is not a sci-fi original, you have to take into account licensing fees and a few other things. So yeah, as we all know, it just comes down to money, probably. Here's what Joseph had to say a few weeks ago regarding the budget for cable shows. It's a, it's a bit of a rant, so bear with me, but it does provide some insight into how the whole shitty system works. A show's budget is made up of monies received from licensing fees paid by various broadcasters. Different territories pay fees for the first window rights of a series, while an entity like Netflix will pay for the rights for a second window, though in many cases Netflix produces its own original programming. A broadcaster's stake in the show determines the size of its licensing fee. A show that has been developed in-house and greenlit by the broadcaster, an original series in other words, commands more money, but the investment is offset by the broadcaster's ownership in the show, allowing it to in turn monetize sales to alternate platforms like a Netflix, iTunes, DVDs, etc. Of course, it's never quite as cut and dried as this, and much of the time the involvement of other partners to help defray the costs of production also means giving up certain rights. Every show is different, ratings are just one piece of the renewal puzzle, and confusing matters is the fact that changes in technology are shifting the way viewership is counted. Overnights used to be of utmost importance because broadcasters make money by selling time to advertisers, but increasingly over time, fewer and fewer people are watching live. As a result, time delayed viewing is being taken into consideration. So, yeah, basically he's just trying to say that they had to pay extra fees for a show because they don't own it in its entirety. This could shed some light as to why Dark Matter got cancelled, but still not really, as it's rated so highly on the network, not to mention it's actually a pretty great show. Feels like a classic sci-fi in action, adventure, intrigue, and complex mystery, all with a bit of cheese and humour to round it off. I find I'm very sad that another great space-based science fiction show filled with so much potential and, and already a complete story structure in place has been cancelled by a bunch of dickheads who don't know what they're doing or or who care about minuscule profit discrepancies over credibility. And that's what this comes down to. Sure, the show might not be making them as much money as another show, but it gives them something better. It gives them credibility. Well, at least it did. Well, my rant's over. I have links in the description if you want to use your nerd rage to tweet the fuck out of these cunts and, and help try to persuade them. Show your fandom. And also, there's a link there to suggest to Netflix for new shows. So maybe we'll, we'll try and get the show 
done somewhere else. It is true, the voices of the many is a powerful thing. If the fans unite, we can bring back this show just like other shows have done in the past. Shit, even Firefly got a movie. Good luck, friends. I have a sci-fi podcast. It's not the worst thing ever, so, so maybe check that out if you want to fucking check it out. Link in the description.